what is up guys it's cross here and today i will be teaching you how to make nature type beats for artists like joey and isaiah tg so let's just get straight into it so the first thing i added to this beat was this stream sound effect from xenology um xenology is probably my favorite plugin to be honest uh it's just very good it's very versatile um and the stream sounds like this Yeah, so it's just a basic little thing I added um, to start the bass of the beat off. So for the second sound I chose for this beat, I settled on this pad sound from Phenology called Eternal, and it sounds like this. So for these types of beats, you want to stay in a major scale. Um, for this beat, I started in a A sharp major scale. So all my notes will fall into this scale, as you can see. All these notes fall in. And I started with a 6-3-1 bass line progression, which, as you can see, if I do this, go to the A sharp, um, it will land in the sixth note of the progression, third note, and finally first note. So for the third preset, um, I went with this piano from Xenology called First Star, and this is what it sounds like dry. And I put this portal preset on it. It's duality from the shadow kit. I will put it up on screen. Um, it is a paid kit, but the presets are, are, they're just amazing. I'm not gonna lie. And it sounds like this afterwards. Yeah, so it's just a clean uh, bit crush sound and it really complements the beat. So let's go on to the next sound. So for the next sound in this beat, we have this pad preset from the Data X Serum Bank from Synthetic and this is what it sounds like dry. So it's just playing the basic chord notes of the previous pattern I made and with these beats you want to be using a lot of pad sounds with a lot of texture and movement and that's what really makes these beats special because you just have normal pad sounds with you know, pianos, it's not going to sound unique. You need to have something that has you know personality. But without further ado, let's get on to the drums. So I wanted to start with the 808s. Um, for these types of beats, you don't really want to use very high frequency 808s. You want to be using more sub, uh, like lower 808s. So like this 808, it doesn't have very much high end activity. Uh, this one kind of does. It's a CTM 808 with a little bit of width to it. But it's just a wider sound and this is a sub, and this is also another CTM, but it has like a water effect. It's a very cool effect. Um, for this 808, I did this trick um, where you do slide notes to slide it up and down the sound. It sounds like that, and you just put slide notes that are zero volume, full volume, zero volume, full volume. Just like, keep doing that. Um, for the other patterns, this one is just hitting on the G. This is hitting a bit late to add bounce. And these subs are really low subs, but they sound really clean. So that's why I decided to use them. And then it's just playing these notes. Uh, the 808s don't have to be very crazy in these types of beats. It's more the percussion that have to be crazy. And I'll play that for you guys real quick.
So with the percussion, you want to have phasers on all of them. Um, phasers give this weird underwater sound effect. Like, um, for example, on the hi-hats, um, I put frequency echo, which is a, it just adds like a little bit of high end and a phaser. And this is what the hi-hats sound like with the phaser and all the effects on it. So for the hi-hats, you want to be very dynamic with them. You want to add a lot of rolls, a lot of, you know, low, lower note hi-hats to add up the dynamics. And that's it for the hi-hats. I'll move on to the uh, claps. So the clap is a very basic, uh, you know, hit on the three clap. Um, it's nothing too crazy, um, but you just put the phaser on there and the frequency echo and that's it for the claps and then i had this little perk that played uh right before the fourth it's just like a little uh wood block sound so the snare roll is just a basic trap snare roll and it sounds like this it's nothing too crazy you just put a phaser and frequency echo on there and you know that's it yeah, so that's kind of it for the beat. All I did extra was just add an automation clip for the master for the intro and add my tags. And the finished beat sounds like this. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Um, drop a like if you can. If you really enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.